Good afternoon, everyone. So we're back. This is Lizette Galvez again, and we are at Eton Tech Session. So as you know, this week is our third session, which we will be discussing about um, intelligent um, power management for SMB. Okay, so this week we will have we will be having a guest, of course from my team still, but he is the one uh, handling our distributed power quality or single phase. That's Gary Haravata. We will we will listen to him and chat with him later. Of course, we will still have um, Bobot Morales, our, our in-house pre-sales manager. So let's talk more about single phase later. But... Um, for now, let me just remind you to share our uh, our live. To uh, so we will please do hashtag switch on to Eton and hashtag um, Eton Philippines. So without further ado, Bot, can you start our session? Bot, we cannot hear you. Good afternoon. Can you hear yeah. me now? Okay. Yeah. So good afternoon, uh, friends, colleagues, uh, partners, uh, our resellers and our customers. And of course, good afternoon, internet. So uh, today we will be sharing with you uh, regarding our small and business uh, UPS products. So Gary will be the one presenting it. But uh, for now, let's have a recap okay, of uh, a bit of a recap of what uh, happened in our past two, uh, past two sessions, okay? So in our trusted and uh, digital world uh, consumer demands a 24 by 7 availability so power is very vital in these uh, facilities or our mission critical applications uh, like for example internet in our homes okay so nowadays uh, before internet is not that critical in our homes but because of this crisis that we're experiencing right now, internet is one of uh, the very critical uh, system that we need in our home because still most of us are working from home and our children are, you know, uh, doing their online or uh, synchronous classes using uh, the internet. Okay. And uh, some of us are having this like type of uh, podcast. Okay, so uh, internet connection is very vital as well. And when we want to know something about what's happening with, with, with the crisis that we're experiencing, so we need social media, we need uh, news. So most of the time we access it online. And of course, uh, with our work, with, with, with our school activities, we also need uh, emails. Okay, so... All of these are all dependent with our internet connection. So interruption in any of this, for example, in our home is very critical nowadays. Uh, what more if there's a internet interruption, for example, in a bank, in a financial institution, in our office. Okay, so uh, business will stop, business will hold, uh, people cannot, well, cannot do anything. Okay, so we'll be idle. So pr production or output of our employees will be uh, affected as well. So sometimes it may cost worth or millions of dollars uh, having a few seconds or maybe a longer uh, downtime because of uh, internet connection. So what more if we experience uh, a downtime in our electrical uh, power? So electrical power is very vital nowadays in this very critical moment in our uh, history. And with the emergence of uh, IOTs, uh, industrial IOTs, uh, 5G communication, uh, edge computing. So 
this also increase uh, the demand in uh, communication or connectivity and the reliable power is really necessary or required to support this uh, ICT uh, infrastructure. So clean and uninterrupted power is the true lifeblood of this mission critical application. Like for example, uh, our uh, telcos or ISPs. Okay, so they cannot tolerate even a uh, millisecond or a second of uh, power outage. Uh, our financial institutions, uh, even those ATMs on the remote site. No? So uh, they, we don't want any interruption when, when it was our turn to withdraw money on an ATM. Uh, much more if we're doing an online banking transaction. So nowadays we, we normally pay our bills our, uh, when, when we shop online. So we, we also pay online. So uh, these are very critical. Same goes with uh, the manufacturing, food, non-food, electronics, semicon, uh, those essential items you know, like uh, face mask, alcohol, sanitizer. So those manufacturing companies can cannot also afford to experience a downtime. Uh, same with transportation, our uh, water utilities and uh, electrical utility, utility companies uh, are also very critical nowadays. And of course, our government, uh, of course, if they experience an electrical power downtime, uh, there will be chaos, okay? So uh, they, they, they will not be able to, to share an update on what's happening, uh, to share an update on their, uh, for example, in the Congress and their constituents, or for example, in, with the police or the emergency services, uh, they will be having a hard time communicating with each other uh, if ever there's an uh, uh, emergency. So uh, I think uh, today we, we have a storm. So, so communication is very vital, uh, especially in these uh, uh, trying times. And same also with our healthcare. Uh, facilities. So this is very critical nowadays. So the, uh, a single a second of downtime will will have a major impact on this uh, facility. That's why uh, we can we can use a UPS, okay, an, an interruptible uh, uh, power supply, okay, to to give our customer peace of mind uh, when there, for example, when there's a uh, an outage. Okay, so uh, a UPS is an interface, okay, uh, between the mains power, what we call the Meralco power here in Metro Manila, and our critical or sensitive uh, applications or uh, equipments, okay. So the UPS will supply those critical equipments with continuous high quality uh, electrical power, regardless of uh, the status of the input power coming from uh, Meralco. So uh, it will protect our uh, equipment, our critical equipment from uh, different power disturbances, okay. So a typical UPS consists of a rectifier charger, an inverter, a static switch and of course the heart of the UPS uh, the battery okay so these are the major components of uh, uh, a UPS so so a UPS will help uh, prevent uh, loss of data okay, or uh, damage of uh, critical equipments when there is or if there are any uh, power disturbances happening from 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 the mains power supply and of course in these critical times uh, it will help also prevent loss of life in our uh, healthcare uh, facility okay so most people think uh, that the ups or uh, which has a battery you know, is only used uh, during uh, power outage. Okay, well, that's true. Okay, so uh, UPS is very critical uh, when there's a power outage. So, so it supply continuous and regulated power to our critical systems when the input power uh, bugs down and until the, our generator or emer emergency gener generator system uh, uh, come up, okay? While that's true, there are still different types of uh, uh, power problems. So aside from uh, 
power outage or power interruption. Okay, so we also have what we call uh, power sag. Okay, so it's a short term low voltage, no? so it's considered a low voltage, but uh, the duration is very short. Okay, so we also have a power surge. Okay, so the power surge is a short term uh, high voltage. Okay, so there's an increase in voltage, but the duration is very short. There's also what we call a low voltage. Okay, so a low voltage is a continuous reduction in input voltage coming from the utility power, no? like uh, Meralco. Okay, so uh, still considered as a low voltage, but the duration is uh, very long. Okay, so we also have uh, high voltage. So there's an increase in voltage from the utility power but the duration is uh, also very long. We also have what we call the uh, frequency variation. So typically we, ex we experience this uh, uh, frequency variation when our generator system is not operating properly or we have a very old or very small and overloaded uh, emergency generator system. Next, uh, we also have uh, line noise, okay? So uh, with line noise, typically uh, line noise is caused by uh, either an electromagnetic interference or maybe a radio frequency uh, interference, okay? So uh, this interference can uh, inject noise in our electrical uh, power systems. And then we also have uh, switching transients. Okay, so switching transient, uh, this is uh, an increase or increase in voltage, so very high, but the duration is very, very short, typically within micro or uh, microseconds, okay? Uh, maybe uh, a little, in terms of milliseconds, maybe one or two milliseconds or half milliseconds, uh, maybe that's the maximum. And then lastly, we have what we call the harmonic distortion. So harmonic distortion is uh, also an electrical disturbance typically caused by uh, switching power supply. So nowadays, our servers, our uh, computers, our laptops are even using uh, switching power supply. And there, there are other still uh, equipments in our office that, that's uh, using uh, switchy, uh, switch mode uh, power supply that can that can cause a uh, distortion in our electrical uh, system. Okay, so providing the, the, the right protection. So all of these problems that I've mentioned, these uh, nine uh, power disturbances that I've mentioned can cause hardware equipment damages, uh, data loss, or even loss of life. Okay, so in today's uh, high-tech IT and control, uh, systems or equipments, uh, these are much more sensitive uh, in terms of power disturbance compared in the in the past. So, uh, a regulated, clean, and interrupted power is a must for this uh, critical uh, systems. Okay. So, uh, as you can see on the on the on the screen. Okay. So we have. Uh, two common topologies for, for a UPS, okay? So one is the what we call the single conversion or offline uh, systems, okay? So in a single conversion or offline uh, UPS system, in normal operation, this, uh, the power coming from our utility, from Meralco, is being fed directly to our critical uh, loads, like our computers, our laptops, our control systems in a manufacturing uh, environment, okay? So uh, there's a predefined limit. So if, if, if for example, the, the input voltage supply from the utility uh, goes above these predefined limits, so the UPS will shift into battery mode, the inverter will turn on, and then the inverter will supply regulated power to, to our loads, okay? So if there's a power uh, outage, power failure, okay? So from the normal operation of the utility feeding the load with uh, uh, electrical power, so the UPS will shift again 
to battery operation, inverter will turn on, and then inverter will supply regulated power to our critical uh, systems. Okay. So, uh, so this is what we call the standby UPS and or or, or the what, typically it's a standby UPS under the single uh, conversion design of uh, UPS. And then the 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 other type of uh, design under a single conversion UPS is what we call the line interactive UPS. So the only difference between the line interactive and uh, standby UPS is for a line interactive UPS, there's a built-in AVR inside this uh, UPS. But it's, it is not uh, functioning or working continuously. So uh, the UPS still need to detect a, uh, a surge in power or hit a predefined uh, voltage limit before the AVR will uh, function. So this the AVR is not really true online uh, uh, working, but still there's an AVR to correct any high voltage or a, a low voltage condition, which a standby UPS uh, cannot. So that's why on the screen you can see that for a standby UPS, it can correct uh, typically three power disturbances. No, so uh, it's an outage, power failure. That's power failure. One, second will be a voltage sag, and then third will be voltage surge. Okay. So for the line interactive, it can correct five uh, power disturbances. So namely the power outage, sag, surge, high voltage, and low voltage and then the second topology that we have for uh, ups system is what we call the double conversion or online ups okay so in a typical double conversion so as, as the name suggests double conversion uh, the ups will convert twice the incoming power from the utility source from meralco so first it will it will convert the AC power from Meralco to DC. And then the inverter of the UPS will convert the DC power coming from the rectifier of the UPS to a regulated AC power. And then this regulated regulated AC power will be, su will be supplied to our critical uh, system. So continuously, the, the, the UPS is monitoring uh, any input disturbances that uh, that is present in an electrical system and then it will uh, automatically uh, correct you know, continuously it's 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 uh, the inverter is regulating its output uh, independent of what is happening on the input side of the ups so uh, in planning or in deploying a robust power protection for our critical system. So Eton has a wide range of uh, power protection systems for distributed application to help our customer achieve a continuous uptime in their critical operation. Okay, so uh, thank you very much. And then later Gary will be discuss what are this uh, power protection solution that we have. Thank you both for that. Of course, later we will also be discussing about, um, maybe let's give them um, a short intro on how do we choose between a single phase and a three and a three phase uh, power usage, right? Like it should be of course dependent on the power needs of their application and where, where their application is connected to. But before that, or before I introduce um, our next speaker. I would like to say hello to our colleague from uh, fr from Eton, be it in local and in regional. Thank you for supporting us. Of course, our partners, our distributors, our tier one, our end users, our friendly competitors. Welcome. Have fun. And hi to Paolo Caparas. He's watching right now. Our our friend, our old friend, old talaga, old and young friend. So without further ado, let me introduce our next speaker. So as, as I've said, my um, 
three fourths of my team is here. So si Ronnie na lang wala. But now for single phase, we will be having Gary Haravata to discuss in depth on uh, single phase and a di- distributed power quality of Eton. So let's give it up for Gary Haravata. Gary, are you there? So Gary is sharing his uh, presentation right now. There. There you go. Hi. Uh, good afternoon, partners. Nice to see you once again through our FB Live. Since the lockdown last March 16, in the day forward, our life and life cycle uh, were turned upside down, shifted from north to South, to work from home and learn from home, just got a big push from our current global coronavirus uh, pandemic. Right? Thanks to ever-evolving technologies like Facebook Live, Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, Google Meet, Viber, Messenger, etc. These technologies are a big help in pushing our economy forward. We believe that this is the easiest and fastest way to deliver and convey messages, trainings, etc., in our business nowadays. It's no longer necessary to be in an office full time to be a productive member of the team. In fact, many kinds of work can be done just as uh, effectively, if not more so from a home office. Agree? Yeah, agree. Now, without further ado, let me go to our topic, intelligent power management for SMB. When it comes to power management, Eaton leads the way in addressing this, how and by what product? The DPQ, distributed power quality in which the single phase uninterruptible power system or supply, or simply we call UPS, white space products, and peripherals for SMB are categorized. We have wide ranges of capacities in every model series. And I would just like to mention to you the most uh, available series in the Philippine market. And these are the the single phase UPS with, sorry, the Eton DPQ product line UPS. Eton categorizes the product, uh, the products from UPS, which has uh, the line interactive and online topology in which we are most or already familiar with it. We have the white space products. These are the rock enclosure and in power distribution units. Our model convention of the UPS commonly starts with the numeric. If you can uh, see on my slides, uh, for the line interactive, we have the five series, except for our ellipse series. Why five? This is because the Eaton Line Interactive Series addresses the five power disturbances in nature or five power problems, such as the power failure, number one, power sag, power surge, under voltage, and number five is the over voltage. This has been discussed by Bobot earlier, right? Where you can see uh, or you can see it on uh, this screen, the power balls. We call it the power balls, like uh, these balls, right? So for Eton online series, the naming convention of the model starts with nine. This is to signify that the Eton online UPS addresses the nine power disturbances. 
aside from the five power disturbances mentioned already in the line interactive, the online completely addresses the entire nine power disturbances or problems. So number six is the line noise, seven switching transient, eight frequency variation, and number nine is the harmonic distortion. All these can be corrected by the Eton UPS online topology. So, sorry. Why and what are the typical applications of these categories? 5B, for the line interactive, we have the 5B ranging from 650 VA to 1050 VA. It offers a cost-efficient line interactive backup power for workstation, desktop, PC, telephone equipment, internet access point, POS applications. This is more aligned to consumer or individuals. For commercial, we have the 5E and 5L which ranges from 650 VA as well up to 2K VA or 2000 VA. These series are essential line interactive UPS that provides cost-effective and reliable power protection against power outages and bad power quality. We have the Ellipse Echo, Ellipse Pro. This is the Ellipse series with ranges from 650 VA up to 1,600 VA or 1,600 VA. This UPS deliver energy efficient power protection for business computers. Now on the left, uh, on the left side of the slide, which is the, the bottom part is the 5P and the 5PX. 5P ranges uh, 1,150 or 1,150 up to 3K VA or 3,000 VA as well as the 5PX. This is the new and the next generation of online, uh, of line interactive rather, UPS with advanced LCD and energy metering feature. It's perfect UPS to protect IT and networking devices, such as servers, switches, routers, and storage devices in tower or rack format. So all these series from 5V down to 5PX line interactive series are best and meant for Soho use. This is the small office, home office. Nowadays, the demand of working in school at home are tremendously increasing, which, which translates the demand of power of this space. There's a high probability of power failure and quality supplied to us by electric utilities base or because of the huge demand from the households. Kasi lahat tayo nagtatrabaho na sa bahay, no? Uh, usually from work from office down to work from home. And also uh, our, our children, we have, if we have children, they are learning from home or school from home. Also to add up, the weather conditions are getting poorer or worsened because of the global warming and typhoons are multiplied and getting stronger every year. Catastrophic distractions will cause power shutdowns anywhere, everywhere. Thus, will lead to power shortages or the most power interruption more often. The online. On the left side, uh, on the right side of your, the right side of the slides, we have the 9A ranges from 1 kVA up to 20 kVA. Our 9A series is an online double conversion power protection at an affordable price with a compact robust construction. This UPS an ideal choice for industrial, medical, IT applications, and telecommunications. All these 9 e series are Eaton's essential model with tower type form factor mm -hmm. or entry level for the online topology. We have also the 9SX ranges from 
700 VA up to 11K VA. Our 9SX UPS offers high availability, flexibility, and advanced protection for infrastructure, industrial, medical, IT, networking, storage, and uh, networking in storage and telecommunications as well. Delivering an online double conversion protection in convenient tower or rack format. So we have the newest, uh, the newest in the lineup for 9SX series, the 15 KVA and 20 KVA. This UPS provides stable power for critical IT infrastructure, edge computing, industrial devices, and medical applications. Advanced designs combines superior efficiency, compact form factor, flexible wiring, where it has an input options of three is to one, meaning three-phase input and single-phase output. It can be three-phase input and the output is three-phase, and single-phase input and the output is single-phase and a maximum performance even in challenging environments. Lastly, for the line, uh, for the online uh, topology, we have our uh, 9PX, our top of the line. 9PX, uh, 9PX ranges uh, categorizes from 1KVA up to 3KVA, provides advanced protection for small and medium data centers, IT rooms, and infrastructures delivering double conversion protection and being the first in its class to provide unity power factor, meaning its VA is equal to watts. Let's say the one KVA is equal to one kilowatt power. We have also the nine PX ranges from five up to 11 KVA. This UPS series provides energy efficient power protection, same as with uh, our 9px 1 to 3 kva for small and medium data centers it rooms and infrastructure so all these online breed ups of eton are all best of their respected functions and purposes we have also our white space solution rack enclosure comes with 27u a 4 footer up to a 48 u a full height seven footer rack enclosure. This is certified with UL2416 and provides an easy to configure solution for IT equipment storage. Aside from the built-in models, we have the flat, flatbed models. This is a knockdown series. So where you can transport and install easily on site, especially when the when there are challenges like how to transport it because of the size of the rack enclosure. Typically, the rack enclosure is uh, already built in, but this flatbed model is knocked down, meaning to say it can be assembled on site. So no need for uh, no need for the challenging uh, uh, enclo van enclosure with a head headroom height. Uh, yung napakatas na headroom height, no? Uh, so just to consider, a flat uh, flat bed or knockdown model can answer that uh, scenario. You know what, what's the purpose of the rack enclosure? The purpose of the rack enclosure is that it, uh, the purpose of the computer server rack cabinets, or simply the rack enclosure, is to accommodate and safely store computers modems, routers, servers, patch panels, PDUs, and other networking equipment. It's ideal for data centers, server rooms, computer rooms, or any other area that needs network security and minimize floor space. Our PDU, or we call it the Enclosure Power Distribution Unit, so uh, this is designed specifically for data center environment. This PDU provides reliable, consistent power distribution and allow you to measure, monitor, and manage your energy consumption down to individual server level. 
to complete the DPQ solution for mainstream UPS down to PDUs is that we have the intelligent power manager, or we, seem, uh, we're, we simply call it IPM. This is our software to manage all the network uh, UPS, PDUs, and environmental uh, monitoring probe uh, so in, in single glass pane. So I will, uh, the typical applications for this enclosure, uh, sorry, so, sorry for that, no? uh, the slide is very slow. So the typical uh, applications for this uh, IPM, sorry. Oh no, sorry for that. So, technical difficulties. So the Eton Intelligent Connectivity. So if you can remember the last session that we had, we discussed the network interface cards, the network M2, and industrial gateway. So I will add up the environmental monitoring probe, Gen 2. So these network interface cards are the one will connect the equipment or the UPS, simply the UPS, and the EMP Gen 2 into the network. No? So how does it work? How does it work and how does it collab with our Eton equipment or UPS uh, connected into the network? The Eton Intelligent Power Manager IPM software provides the tools needed to monitor and manage power devices in your physical or virtual environment in a single pane of glass. This innovative software solution ensures system uptime and data integrity by allowing you to remotely measure, monitor, manage, and control UPS and other devices on your network. IPM provides solution that is easy to use and maintains business continuity. This powerful software is free up to 10 nodes. So 10 nodes meaning to say, uh, if you have UPS connected into the network, so one UPS connected into the network, that's one node. So 10 of UPS connected into the network, that's 10 nodes. That's for free. And if more than that, so you need to acquire or to buy simply the license key no? for you to be able to control all uh, the devices or UPS connected into the network beyond 10 nodes. So where to download? No? For best assistance, you can always ask, ask me, our partners through email, calls, and SMS. If you have any questions and clarifications, please shoot in the comment box right now below. Just hit the switch to Eton, hashtag Eton Philippines, and hashtag your company name. Thank you. Are we on? Yes. Gary, please uh, stop screen sharing. All right. Yeah. Can you figure out?
Ipakita mo kami ni Bobot. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Where is the... Stop screen. <laughs> I cannot... Okay. Wait a minute. Stop video. Where? So while di ma figure out ni Gary mag stop screen. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Please don't forget oh, sorry. to uh, share this live. And then hashtag, correct ko lang, it's supposed to be switch to Eton and hashtag Eton Philippines. And you can also hashtag your company name, please. So we can know you when you do. Please share, please share your thoughts in the live chat box so we can see and we can comment and answer your questions. So just to, re just to reiterate, this is our third session and we are discussing intelligent power management for small, medium business. And our next session will be next week, which is Power Quality Solution for Mission Critical. This is, um, we will be discussing more on three phase. And the week after that, so it will be weekly starting this week. We'll be do every Tuesdays at 3 p.m. We'll be doing innovative Eton UPS technologies and software for our session five. And then our session six will be Uh, we make what matters work. This is the culminating activity for our six session no. Eton Power Quality discussion. No. Gary, we can hear you, so please mute. Okay. While we're figuring out how to stop share, Bot, may tanong ako. Ano mo na to Malaradyo? <laughs> okay. Hey, bot, okay. So. so. Okay, so while we are discussing about um, distributed power quality, right? We're, we're looking at electrical power as it is. Can you please share with our audience the key difference between a single phase and a three phase, just for those who are not so familiar with it? Like how to choose between single phase and three phase? I, I know I said a while ago that it, it should be your power needs of applications and what power source the equipment is connected to. But in a layman's term and on a technical term, how do we differentiate and how do we know that we need a single phase or we are in single phase? And how do we know if we need a three phase as a connection or single phase input and three phase output? Okay, so uh, the difference between a single phase and a three phase UPS. So first, for the single phase UPS, the, the power range is very limited. Now, typically around 500 VA to well, up to now, to maximum for our uh, portfolio is up to 20 kVA. Okay, so well, that, that's the difference. But for the three phase, uh, normally it starts at around 8 kVA in our product portfolio and up to uh, 1.2 megawatt on a single UPS okay. frame. Okay, so in terms of capacity, so uh, that's one of the uh, differences between the single and uh, three-phase UPS. Another is uh, in terms of application, so single-phase UPS is normally used in a distributed type of application, uh, maybe on a one-to-one, -one, one PC, one UPS uh, design or one uh, equipment, one UPS design. And uh, uh, three-phase UPS, we typically use it in a centralized application. Okay, one single UPS supplying, for example, uh, 100 PCs or uh, different or 
maybe a number of uh, floors in a building supplying uh, uninterrupted power. So uh, that's it. And uh, you asked also uh, how can they choose? Well, of course, uh, as, as what you've mentioned, it depends on the power demand of the equipment that uh, need to be powered. Okay, so uh, for example, if it falls uh, between 500 VA to 20 K VA for a, for a single phase uh, equipment, okay, so uh, we, we can use a single phase uh, UPS, but uh, anything beyond that, we will be using a three phase UPS. But we can also use a three phase UPS. Uh, as I mentioned, to power uh, a number of single phase uh, equipment as well. But that will be uh, based on a centralized uh, design. And of course, they need to check the availability of uh, power in the building or in the facility. For example, if, if, if it is a small office or an old building and the only available power is single phase, they cannot use a three phase uh, UPS. So they need to use a single phase. Yeah, UPS. But in uh, both has pros and cons. In terms of uh, in terms of managing, it is easy to manage a three phase UPS compared to managing multiple single phase uh, UPSs. Yeah, because so, it's centralized, correct? Yeah. Yes, and uh, it is more efficient uh, operating a, a large uh, UPS compared operating a number of uh, single phase UPS in terms of uh, you know, operation, battery replacement, and as I mentioned, management. So that's okay. it. Okay, so just to sum it up, while we still cannot figure it out, we still have, we need uh, five major things to consider between a single phase and a three phase. Of course, on the technical side, of course, the conductors, the voltages that you need for sure. Yes, yeah. And as you said, the maintenance of, um, of uh, uh, managing it and yes. the efficiency on, on how do you want to do it. Of course, the cost. The cost yes. is so important. Yeah. And the finally, the application. Yes. Application is key, right? Because, yes. for example, if you're a BPO, Although there is um, a centralized part of a server room, still you need um, <clears throat> an individual for some who uses desktop and some opted to, to use a three phase for a cent uh, sorry for a centralized um, centralized manipulation of their entire system right yes, So yeah. it really depends on what application are you gonna use. So efficiency follows after that. Yes, correct yeah. Okay, a lot of people are messaging me about our technical difficulties. Dinaya tayo ni Gary, kumuha talaga ng madaming airtime bot. So, <laughs> hindi pa rin ma-figure out. Oo, oh, okay, hindi pa ma-figure out. So because of that, let me just... Um, okay, we're back. Thank God. Can you see us, guys? Please... Uh, Message us in the chat box and remove Gary Po. Na sobra na siya ng airtime. So, okay, we're back. Ano ba sa sabihin ko? Okay, the pri we have we will not have any raffle draw this week, but we'll have four questions for you to answers. Please, um, to to be able to join, of course, you should have a share badge as usual and hashtag. Switch on to Eton, hashtag uh, Eton Philippines, and hashtag your company name. We will do a multiple choice. Para hindi kami mahirapan maghanap ng pangalan nyo. All right. Shall we proceed? Okay, Gar, are you ready for some a quick discussion? We cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. You're on mute. Yeah, sure. Okay, so a while ago, <clears throat> while you're busy, I asked Bobot already on on what's what's the key difference between a single phase and a three phase, and when and how to use a single phase and a three phase. So now with this all said, a while ago we also discussed about the um, the disturbances that we look into to protect our UPS critical systems, right? Now. 
zooming in to, to the models that you share with us together with, with its application, I know most of us are already adept with all the models that we have right now. So I'm asking you, what, what will be the new models to be launched or what are the new models launched for single phase or DPQ? So uh, I'm, I'm going to answer or this is for the partners? No, no, for you. <laughs> Yeah. Please share okay. Uh, the 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 newest uh the newest uh models uh, in a category of uh, online UPS for single phase is the 9SX, 15KVA, and 20KVA as discussed uh, earlier. So this comes with uh, multiple inputs. Meaning to say, if you have three phase input, then it can uh, accommodate three phase input. And then output, it can be three-phase as well. It can also have a three-phase input, and then the output is single-phase. Also, it can accommodate the typical uh, single-phase UPS uh, uh, input, single-phase input, and single-phase output. So there, there are three variation option, uh, variations or options that you can uh, do with this uh, new... 9SX, 15KVA, and 20KVA. But here's the thing. The new, uh, the new models, this 15KVA and 20KVA, doesn't come with the internal battery. So you need to purchase separately the battery or the EBM. We call it the external battery modules for both models. Okay. So... <clears throat> While I need, I want to ask you more, there are questions from the audience. Let me read it. Natabunan ng mga... Okay, hindi ko mahanap. So let's, let's proceed. With, with the applications that, um, I mean, the models of the categories of UPSs that you shared a while ago with its application... What is the best application for our 9E, 9SX, and 9PX? Okay. Uh, if you see the slides earlier, uh, these models are meant for uh, manufacturing. So manufacturing, it's either a foods, non-foods, or semiconductors. And also for medical equipment. Uh, medical equipment using uh, uh, sophisticated uh, machines that needs a cleaner power, so it needs UPS. Also IT, uh, network rooms, data centers, small and medium scale data centers. This is uh, best and ideal uh, applications of these UPSs. Okay, so just to re reiterate, right, that our 9Es are tower types and our 9PX are convert convertibles. Convertibles, tama ba yung yeah, word ko? Yeah. And then our um, 9XX, 9SX is a rack-mounted UPS, right? Yeah, for 9SX, we have a rack mount and a tower type uh, it's also uh, form factor. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the form factor is conver convertible. So meaning it can be, as you said, it's uh, it depends on the applications they'll be using and the cabinets as well. It for example, as you said, um, the medical facilities. Mm -hmm. If there are um, provisions for a tower type, then we can use a 9E. And if it's if it's in a server room or a network room, then it should be rack mounted so as to be a part of the entire system. Yeah, right? that's right. Okay. So, but naman, I have a question for you on the, of course, we we wanted to promote our white space. Um, our white space, of course, includes a lot of um, enclosures or racks and EPDUs. It's a power distribution unit, meaning... In layman's term, ano siya? Ano ba yun? Extension wire. But this is, of course, EPDU is very sophisticated. Yes. Correct. There are a lot. There are a lot of um, security uh, 
in, in corp- security or uh, management. Uh, ma- is there a software for that? Man, management devices that that helps it to be very efficient and to be secured. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, okay. I I want to ask. I know we are expensive compared to a local fabricator. Now, how do we now uh, give the customer the value for money when we use Eton instead of um, of a local? But what? Wait, lang. Of course, Eton also has um, cable management. So if you need if you need cable management um, you, units, please just inquire. It, it's not. It's not part of the it's part of the portfolio, but it's not part of the price list. So please let us know so we can guide you. So, but please go ahead. Uh, between a local fabricator and us, how, how do you want to um, compare okay. us? Uh, in in with regards to our rack enclosures, okay. So our rack enclosures are compliant with different uh, standards, uh, mm-hmm. UL. Uh, IEC okay and also uh, TIA standard so uh, basically if you're complied with this uh, you will not experience any problem you know mounting servers or IT equipment uh, on the rack now compared to other not all local uh, fabricated racks now, but compared to uh, other locally fabricated racks where in sometimes you'll be you'll, you'll experience experience a problem when it comes to uh, mounting servers that uh, has uh, or a very deep uh, uh, server okay so sometimes that's a problem another thing is when it comes to the the numbering of our use okay uh, there are some locally fabricated that are not really uh, how do you call this the term uh, when it comes to the holes, the mounting holes, it is not uh, evenly distributed or uh, uh, yeah, evenly, uh, you know, fabricated that the mounting holes compared to us. Uh, so our customer will be assured that uh, whenever they, you know, put in a server on a rack, uh, it will it can be easily uh, mounted and they will not experience any uh, mounting problems when it comes to service. For the PDUs, uh, of course, uh, still we, we, we pass uh, a number of uh, global standards when it comes to PDU since uh, this is an electrical device. Okay, so uh, we need to be safe. So we're offering safety to our customers, uh, electrical safety to our customers. Aside from uh, other features of our uh, PDUs that cannot be uh, found in uh, locally fabricated, like our uh, it's standard on on all our PDUs from basic up to the high end PDUs to have a locking mechanism on every outlet. Okay, so that's one of the uh, basic features of our uh, PDUs. So mm-hmm. uh, you cannot find this in uh, a locally fabricated P- uh, PDUs. And on some uh, non-locally fabricated or some branded, no? so this feature is not yet available. And uh, also when it comes to, uh, we go back again to safety, uh, mm-hmm. we we have uh, different models that some models use uh, breakers, uh, some models use fuse depending on the type of application that they need. But most of the locally fabricated that I saw uh, use uh, fuses. And we experience, so I, I myself uh, witness uh, a PDU fuse uh, being blown up because of overload. Mm-hmm. And then they, the customers having a hard time to find a replacement fuse. Okay, so so the server rack was down for a number of hours before before they can find the, the replacement fuse. So, so so those are some of the the uh, advantages that we have on the locally pub- fabricated. But but for more details, they can you know they can invite us for a one to one presentation mm-hmm. to give them more details on our products. Okay, let's see. I. Bakit pati phone ko nang hang na din. All right. So since we don't have time anymore, let's proceed to our question. So uh, our our prices for today will be Xiaomi hair trimmer, our ring light, 
air purifier for home, and an automatic alcohol spray. So shall we proceed to our first question? So I'll, I'll ask the question and then kayo na lang sumagot pag uh, it's your question. Okay, let's start. So please share the badge for you to be qualified. Uh, and then hashtag switch on to eat on hashtag eat on Philippines. And then hashtag your company name. And hashtag, please don't forget the hashtag. Hashtag your answer. Letter lang. You don't need to give us your um, word answer. Just the letter because this is a multiple choice. Okay, shall we start? Proper, may inano ko, in advice. It should be share badge and proper hashtag and hashtag answer. Okay, all the hashtags and answer. First question for the Xiaomi hair trimmer. As the world gets more digital and connected, the demand for blank grows. Letter A. Please just answer your letters. Ha? Letters lang. Hashtag letter. Letter A. Mobile phones. Letter B. Cell phone loads. Letter C. Cooling. And letter D. Electrical power. Let me repeat the question. As our world gets more digital and connected, the demand for blank grows. Letter A. Mobile phone. Letter B, cell phone load. And letter C, cooling. Letter D, electric power. I can see some answers. Okay. Let's see pag kung may nakakuha na. Do we have a winner? So is it mobile phone, cell phone load, cooling, or electrical power? Our winner is G. De La Rosa from Comfac. Letter D. Ay, sorry. Ano answer ng letter D, boy? What's the answer? As our world... Electrical, gets... uh, electrical power. Electrical uh. power. More digital and connected. The demand for electrical power yes. group. But but based on our discussion, that's the answer. But uh, in, in uh, like. actually, all the answers are correct. <laughs> all, all, <laughs> yeah, B -b because uh, you need cell phone loads, not only the internet. Cell phone loads, right? But based on our discussion, only letter D is the correct answer. Okay. Right. So next question. Para mabilis tayo. How many power disturbances and online UPS can protect our critical system? So, letter A, 7, letter B, 4, letter C, 9, and letter D, 11. 7, il, ay mali. How many power disturbances and online UPS can protect our critical systems? Letter A, 7, letter B, 4, letter C, 9, and letter D, 11. Do we have a winner? Medyo may konting delay dito sa... Please put in your... Please put in your company name or else it won't be... Recognize. For those who answered without the company name, please answer again with your company names. So the question is, how many power disturbances and online UPS can protect our critical systems? Kanina, that was a third to the last slide mo ba yan, bot? Yung may mga power uh, ball, yes, power uh, disturbances uh, balls. Second power to the last. Ball. Meron sanang mga sumagot kanina ng tama, but 
you have to put in your company name or yes okay we have a winner Lionel Aguilar from Scope Tech. The answer is how many power disturbances an online UPS can protect our critical systems? Ilan bot? Nine. Para humula ka pa sa pagkaka nine mo. Yes, nine. <laughs> Parang ikaw oh, yung umansa. So the winner will get a ring light. Okay, next question. What Eaton series are ideally and best for small office or data center and server network room? Letter A, <clears throat> Ellipse series. Letter B, 9S and 9E. Letter C, 5P and 4 5PX, letter D, all of the above. So what Eaton series are ideally and best for small office or server network room? Is it letter A, ellipse series, letter B, 9SX and 9E, letter C, 5P and PX, or letter D, all of the above? So please do hashtag switch on to Eaton, hashtag Eaton Philippines, hashtag your company name, and hashtag the letter of your answer. Ellipse series, 9X. Ayan, may sagot na. O yung sinad niyo sa akin, ito na yung for my third question. For my third question. Yeah. Oh, may kausap sa hangin, no? Okay, yes daw. Yes. So, we have a winner. He's also a sharer, Sir Jeffrey Ramos from JMJ Prince. The answer is Gary Letter. Ano answer? Hindi mo pala alam ano. Letter C, which is 5P and PS. Yes. There. And for our last question, I sorry, the I, Sir Jeffrey, you're so lucky because you will be. Winning an air purifier for home. For home, hindi siya yung personal, yung ganun. All right, for our last question, last and final for this, for this day, what products under Eaton White Space, what are the products under Eaton White Space? Letter A, 5V, 5L, 5E, Ellipse. Letter B, IPM. Letter C, SOHO. Or letter D, RE series and EPDU. Letter A, 5V, 5L, 5E and Ellipse. Letter B, IPM. Letter C, SOHO. Letter D, RE series and EPDU. Do we have a winner? Okay, we have a winner. So the the answer is letter Gary. What what are the products under Eaton White Space? Ano ka ba si Eaton White Space? Letter D. D. Ah, okay. okay. Iba ang tinitingnan mo. RE series and EPDU. Uh, letter D. 
The winner is Sir Oscar under the name of nagtatago po siya sa pangalang <laughs> Katrina. Katrina. So switch on to Eton Eton Better Philippines days. hashtag company name and hashtag the letter. So the thank you for closure. following the instructions. It's very clear po. Hashtag switch on to Eton, switch uh, um, hashtag Eton Philippines, hashtag your company name, and hashtag the answer. So that will always be our, um, and for you to have a share badge, that, that will always be our usual uh, qualifications for you to be chosen as the correct answer. So Sir Oscar, you will be winning an automatic alcohol dispenser. All right. Personal dispenser. Congratulations so to all the you winners. And congratulations to all our winners. As I announced a while ago, we will not have any raffle for this um, week. And the, yes, so your raffle natin will be at the end of the six at the six sessions para mas madami tayong maipamigay. And medyo nag overtime tayo today. So just to recap, a tips geeks will um will keep in touch with you. G. De La Rosa, Lionel Aguilar, Jeffrey Ramos, and Sir Oscar. Okay, so before before um we say goodbye to our viewers for today, let me remind them that our next session will be on the seventeenth, same time, three p. 3 p.m. and uh, same day, Tuesdays. Every Tuesdays until December 1, our sessions will continue. So the next topic will be about power quality solution for, for mission critical. So that will be including three phase. And our next speaker will be Ronnie Alapide. So please watch out for her as she speaks about three phase next uh, session. So thank you, Gary and Bobot, for for sharing. Thank you, thank you so much about okay. single single DPQ or single phase today. So please please have your last message before we close this session. Gar. Yeah, for for our partners, uh, partners means our valued uh, resellers, uh, customers, and. Uh, the one uh, that are viewing uh, today uh, with us, thank you so much for your time on listening on our tech session number three, which is the Eton Intelligent uh, Power Management for SMB. Thank you so much. Okay, Bot. Okay, so thank you again for joining us uh, and we hope that you will join us again next week. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. All right. Sosyal, wala tayong ganun. Sana may masubscribe na sila <laughs> next time. Okay, we'll try to convince the region to have an Ethan. Ano. Okay, thank you Tips Geeks as usual for, for the platform to do live with our, as Gary said, our customers, including our Tier 2 partners, our resellers, our end users, and our distributors and our direct partners as well. So this is the third session, Intelligent Power Management for SMB. Thank you and see you again next session. Good afternoon. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, Caleb. <laughs>